This week, the Psychedelic Science Conference is taking over the Colorado Convention Center. More than 10,000 visitors are wow. attending. And one group that started here in Colorado is getting quite a bit of attention. Denver 7's Micah Smith spoke with moms on mushrooms who are finding freedom in psilocybin. A group of moms sharing a plant-based recipe. I know, it's amazing. Not for dinner, but for what they call a special kind of healing. We are a community of mothers who uh, want to gather around the sacred use of working with psychedelics, specifically microdosing. In the middle of this major psychedelic conference in Denver, founder of Moms on Mushrooms, Tracy T, says her 600 member group is celebrating one year in the space. This medicine really changed my life um, profoundly, but what I, when I was learning how to work with it, what I understood was that it's different for moms. We don't have time to go to three week ayahuasca retreats in the Amazon rainforest. So T says Moms on Mushrooms is providing mothers the resources they need, like educational material and a safe space wherever they are in life. There's the overwhelm of being a mom. There's the overwhelm of being super mom in this modern society and having to do everything. And I think there's a, an urgency and a craving for women to go deeper and like talk to each other on a soul level. For me, I was a young mom. I was having I was breastfeeding my child and, um, you know, taking care of others through this vessel of my own body. And so having psilocybin as an ally to help me, like, reconnect to myself was a really powerful piece for me. Anastasia Lopes, mom's head of facilitation, says she wants other mothers to experience that feeling. We need a village and that is what Moms on Mushrooms can provide. What do you say to your critics that say this is not something you should be doing as a mother? I would say, first of all, uh, microdosing specifically, we're not high. So you're taking a subperceptual dose of psychedelic medicine. To be clear, psilocybin was decriminalized in Colorado in 2022. Federally, it is still considered a Schedule I drug with no accepted medical use. But Tracy says her group is ahead of the federal curve. We don't want to be checking out. We're actually dialing in. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And this Friday at 11 a.m., Moms on Mushrooms will gather at the Colorado Convention Center's Blue Bear to demand comprehensive research on psychedelics. And digging deeper here into decriminalization, Proposition 122, the Natural Medicine Health Act, passed last November with 53% approval. It creates a framework for regulating some psychedelics, but other parts of the bill are already taking effect. Coloradans 21 and older are allowed now to possess and use psilocybin magic mushrooms. It also sets up the decriminalization of DMT, ibogaine, and mescaline. The state must also develop rules for things like drug testing standards and health and safety warnings by January 1st of next year. And the other major component of Prop 122 is the creation of licensed healing centers. The state has already appointed a natural medicine advisory board, and that board is then tasked with setting license requirements and policies by September of 2024. They'll begin taking applications for licensed healing centers by the end of next year. And only one other state has these facilities, and that's Oregon, a healing center that opened last week, practices, excuse me, prices a single trip at more than $3,000.